What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. It's been it's been quite some time since I've actually played this game. There's been a lot of stuff that has changed since I last played. Uh, one of the things is let's go ahead and look around. Look at this. Look at the grass, man. It looks really good. It flows in the wind. It actually looks kind of realistic. The game is looking beautiful. I'm actually very, very surprised. Now look at all the trees. Just gorgeous, man. Let's actually get up close and check this shit out. It actually looks like a tree. Uh, before, we didn't have this pretty of a tree. Look at that. It's actually got bark on it. It definitely looks like a tree that you would want to climb. Hell yeah, that looks good. So the grass looks good, the trees look good, the world looks pretty good. Uh, another thing that they've actually changed, let's go ahead and turn on our HUD. Uh, if we go into the G menu, apparently now we had a DLC where they actually added, oh shit, no way. We got ladders again? No. When did they add that shit? But yeah, they also added a few other things. Let's take a look. So I think the DLC was just this stuff right here. Uh, a bed, a desk, kitchen, planters, a couch, an armory, lockers, toilet, and a console block. Whatever the hell that's for. Another thing they also added to the game was a wind turbine. But the DLC is actually kind of cool. Uh, it's got some stuff in it that we've been asking. We've been asking for decorative blocks for a really long time in Space Engineers. We had to go get mods for that. But now they're actually in the game. Which is cool. Oh, here's another one. The Industrial Cockpit. I'm definitely going to be using that. Let me actually see. I wonder what that one looks like. Let's go ahead and bring it down into number 9. Let's check this out. Oh, I can't really see it. Let's go ahead and put it here, see if we can't rotate it. It's actually, what's the top, what's the bottom? I think that's the way it orientates. Not sure. How about access points? Okay, so we got two access points in the back. Uh, one small access on the top. Is that it? Yeah, just the three access. Uh, it's not bad looking, it's actually a pretty cool looking cockpit I'm definitely looking forward to playing it so if you didn't guess by now I am in back I am back in Space Engineers we are going to be playing a little bit uh, there's some stuff that has changed in the game that I'm probably gonna to have to learn uh, controls I, I completely forget the controls so I'm kinda of like a noob again it's been God it's been close to a year I think since I've actually played Space Engineers uh, somewhere between six months and a year and I'm actually I'm actually surprised uh, they have actually done a lot to the game another thing they've done to the game is stone actually has a use now which is uh, the most important thing they could have done uh, what we can actually use stone for now if I can find it on this ship yeah there it is the survival kit what is it called nope how do I access? I forget how to access the inventory. There we go. Uh, the survival kit. Now the cool thing about this thing is it acts as a medical room, a refinery, and an assembler. So we could actually put stone in there and it will turn that stone into usable resources for building and stuff like that. Uh, another thing that we've actually got in the game as well is uh, progression which I don't think that's actually gonna work out very well we'll have to see uh, but I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves some resources so let me go ahead and we need to dig into the ground but I don't really want to mess up this ground it's it's pretty I don't want to mess it up uh, but we will be moving at some point I think there is while I was falling in this ship there was a lake over there somewhere oh the drop pods those are also new uh, we don't have the old drop pods anymore the atmospheric landers if I remember right they were called 
We no longer have those, and we just have the drop, plot, uh, drop pods for the planets. Also, some other ships that I haven't really explored yet. Yeah, all the old stuff is gone. The yellow ship is gone. All the other spawn ships are gone. I'm going to probably have to do a video on all those again. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead. You know what? Screw it. We might as well. I mean, we might as well dig right here. We'll make a hole. And we'll just get ourselves a bunch of stones. So we'll just go ahead and equip our miner. Oh, my gold tools are looking pretty good. Yeah, not half bad. All right, let's see how everything's working so far. So everything is pretty much the same. I'm just holding down the right mouse button to get down to the stone. And, oh yeah, we need... What is it, L? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let me go ahead and get back on my feet and we'll just dig a nice little pit. We'll try to fill up on all this stone. Might be kind of loud at the moment. Alright, if I remember correctly, we just hold down F. It looks like... Is that the way the stone is supposed to look? Yeah, it's stone. Looks like they changed all the graphics on all the ores, too. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like playing this game for the first time again. Now, of course, I already have an idea of what we're going to be doing. But I like that there's new stuff. This is what we were missing in Space Engineers. Back in the day, uh, we used to wait every week they would add something new to the game. A new block, uh, new physics, something. And it was exciting. But then they got to the point where they wanted to start adding planets and everything just become a bug fix. Uh, so we kind of got a little upset because we weren't getting new stuff anymore. Now we do. Alright, we're just going to try to fill up on all this stone and it looks like it's going to take quite some time. So we'll go ahead and get back up to the drop pod and I just want to see... What kind of resources the stone will actually give us? So, let's go ahead and get inside. We'll go ahead and... Is it not going to do anything? Oh, I think I know what's going on. We have to actually tell it to... Yeah. So, we'll tell it to do 100. It looks like shift and control still work. Uh, if you hold down shift, it'll tell it to make 100. Control is 10. And hold down shift and control at the same time, we'll make a thousand. But that's all we can make right now. We didn't have a whole lot. Uh, so it looks like with the stone, we can actually get gravel, iron, nickel, and silicon. Which is actually not too bad. Those are pretty important resources to get. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to need to collect a lot of freaking stone. Oh, let's also go ahead and take off our helmet. We don't need it. We're on the Earth-like planet. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and collect a bunch of stone, and I guess we'll get started with building. Alright, welcome back, guys. It looks like it's going to be dark pretty soon. I do have the sun rotation set to six hours, uh, so we might actually have darkness in the next few episodes. I didn't even think about that, uh, but hopefully it won't be too much. Uh, but yeah, I went ahead and got a platform started for what we're about to build. I did a lot of digging. Uh, we should have a ton of stuff now. Well, not a ton, but we do have a little bit. This, this should get us started. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get some more iron plates. Uh, how do we do this? Basic components. There we go. So right now, since we are on progression, this is all I can make at the moment. Or no, I think I have progression shut off. Hold on, I'll have to check that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the gravel. Let's just go ahead and make a uh, hundred steel plates. Uh, because that's what we'll need in order to start all the components that we need to build. Let me actually, how do I check? I think it's G. And right up here there's a tab that says progression. So yeah, this is our progression. So we won't be able to unlock any of this stuff. Yeah, we won't be able to build any of this until we unlock it. But it's showing... Why is it showing here? 
Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we can only start with... Oh, uh, maybe I was looking at something else. Not sure. Uh, but it looks like we can only start with light armor blocks. We can only start with a wind turbine and a solar panel. Ugh. <laughs> we can... A basic refinery. There's our survival kit. So it looks like we don't have a regular refinery yet. How do we open that up? It looks like in order to open everything up, all we need to do is build a basic assembler. What's this? An assembler. Uh, some battery. Ooh, a small battery. What? Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to have to check all this stuff out. Uh, what else? If we build a block. It should. I should have opened this stuff up already. Because I built that. No? All right. Uh, interior block. We'll be able to open up all this stuff. Uh, the basic refinery looks like we'll get the detector and the drill that's what we need to open up uh, so we need to go ahead and nope oh, blocks there we go we need to get the basic refinery a basic assembler we need to get those up and running but pretty much what I have to do is I have to build everything uh, let me see let me try this again uh, let's grab those steel plates there we go. Let me try building another block again. And we'll grab our welder. I need to get my toolbar set up. Alright, by building light armor blocks, yeah, I just uh, unlock something. Let's get rid of... There we go. Now it should be open. Progression. I think it was... Yep, there it is. Now we do have it actually open. Uh, next thing to get all this stuff right here, we can do the interior walls. But I think what we should do right now is we'll need all this other stuff. So, basic assembler, basic refinery. I'm pretty sure, not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure those will not actually have conveyor access. But we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and put down, what was that one? Refinery, uh, assembler. And I guess that's it for now. Yep, I think that's it for now. So that one is the basic assembler. Let's see what kind of access. Oh, there is conveyor access. It looks like it might only be one, though. Yeah, it's only one. Let's go ahead and put that right there. And then we need basic refinery. What kind of access? It kind of looks like the old furnaces. Yeah, we only have two access points. Huh. Well, I guess we're starting out very, very light. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get those welded up real quick. What else do we need? Computer, motor, and construction. Yeah, it's... Or is that an eclipse? Nope. It's going behind the mountain, so it's going to start getting dark. Yay. Alright, no, I need you. So, production. Uh, basic components. We needed... Let's get 100 computers, 100 construction components, 100 motors. I think we should have... No, we don't have nickel. Do we? Oh, yeah, we do. Nickel was one of the ones he gave us. Uh, let's try displays and girders. I have no clue. We'll go ahead and let all that craft up. Should take only a minute. Well, a few minutes. Uh, so the plan that I have right now is the same plan I usually have when I start a new world. I'll set up just an easy, quick sorting system with a refinery, one refinery, one assembler, and that's it. And then we'll have some storage. There will also be programmable blocks. Not programmable blocks. Uh... Sorting blocks. What? Shit. I forget what they're called. Uh, let's see. Conveyor. Conveyor sorter. That's what it was called. Uh, where are they? I can't even. I don't even see it. So it's cool that we can actually type it up here and find that item. Uh, where is. Oh, there they are right there. So in order to get those, I have to build 
a cargo container. Cargo container. That shouldn't take much. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, G. Uh, cargo. Small cargo. And then we'll also need power at some point, so... Oh, I need interior plates. Let's get rid of that. And... Uh, production. Basic components. There we I have to get used to this shit again. Alright, there we go. Interior plates. Let's go ahead and go to inventory. Let's go ahead and grab what we have so far. And weld up as much as we can. Oh, we're already out of steel plates. Oh, yeah, that's where I needed displays. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and tell this thing to make us more steel plates as well. Ah, I forgot what kind of a rabbit hole this game was. Alright, steel plate. Let's go ahead and get 200 of those. We need everything else to craft up real quick. Uh, I think displays, and then we needed the plates. Come on, drag, drag for me. There you go. All right, there's the display, and there go the steel plates. So inventory. Let's go ahead and grab the motors and steel plate. So what I really want to do is there's that guy. And we still need more steel plates. Uh, what I really want to do is get this wind turbine up, which we can't do shit with right now. Uh, the wind turbine generates low amounts of power when exposed to open areas. Only works on planets with atmosphere. Okay. Now, I don't know if it really actually matters how high this thing sets, but we're going to go ahead and lift it up a little bit, give it a little bit of altitude, and see if that works a little bit better. Alright, let's see if we got our steel plates. Yep, that'll work. I think that will be enough. So yeah, the first thing we need to do is try to get this base up and running. Uh, we do have the drop pod right now, but I don't want to rely on the drop pod because all it has is a battery, but we have no way of recharging that battery. So what we need to do is we need to get this station up running with a different uh, power source, which we're going to do with the wind turbine. So let me see how... What kind of area? Oh, it's kind of like a turret. It's a 3x3. Three three. So we probably need to come out just a little bit more. Yeah, I need to get my toolbar set up. Alright, so this right here will be the center. And it's going to get up in the air so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Oh, I need interior plates. All right. Let's get rid of that real quick. And let's go ahead and fill up our hydrogen. I also need to make some hydrogen bottles at some point. All right, there's our interior plates, girders. Let's just grab everything we got so far. I don't think that's going to be enough, but we'll see. I'm really curious to see what kind of power this uh, wind turbine gives us. Is this thing finished? Yeah, everything should be... Yeah, everything's finished. Alright, let's try to get this guy laid down. Actually, I think... Let's go ahead and try to go up a little bit. I think... Right like that should be good enough. I don't think it actually matters, but I guess that's one of those things we'll have to actually test out and see. Alright, so we need 14 more girders. So, production, basic components, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, inventory, 14 girders. And there it goes. That wasn't too difficult, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and go into the control panel. I'm curious to see... Uh, wind turbine. Why is a wind turbine 2? Oh, because I... Okay. 
I ground down that one and built another one. So let's get rid of it. Let's change the name of that. Uh, so it looks like max output is 274 kilowatts. Current output is 2 kilowatts. Why? Wind clearance is good, so... Yeah, I don't, it's only 2 kilowatts. That ain't shit. Hold on, how much do these guys take? Oh, no, I want control panel. Uh, power, where are we at? Uh, max required input is 280 kilowatts. So yeah, we're kind of screwed. Um, required input is 1 kilowatt right now because it's idle. How about the refinery? 330 kilowatt. So, ah, uh, you son of a bitch. All right, 330, 280, which is five, six, something? 600 and some odd kilowatts. Let's see, what was a wind turbine? Two. So if I had a max output, we would only need three of these, right? But because the current output is two kilowatts, I need about a hundred. No, three hundred. God damn it. Is it really? Is it really that bad? I guess it is. All right, well, let's try to grab some stone real quick and we'll get them running. We'll check that out. So I need to figure out how to get max power output from that wind turbine. I think that's going to be very, very important. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to try to see if we can't find out how to get max output. I'll probably have to look it up. It'll take me way too long to figure it out. All right, so refinery. Let's go ahead and put the stone in there. Yeah, we're, we're out of power. That's why it keeps making that noise, because we just don't have the power. All right, so how can we test this out? I think probably the best way is we'll go ahead and go out a few blocks. And we're going to go higher. Even higher. Much, much higher. And see if we don't get more wind when we go higher. Also, the question is, what direction is the wind coming from? Alright, seven. I'm about to run out of hydrogen as well. Let's go ahead and get down to the ground before I do. Because that is... Low. Yeah, I got you. That is kind of high up there. All right, let's go ahead and grab some more hydrogen. I do like this survival kit. It's kind of cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and get back up there. Try to get that guy welded up. And see if maybe it gives us a little bit more power. Oh, we need 24 girders. Alright, so... <laughs> I keep forgetting controls. Production, basics, uh, we needed 24, there we go, and is that 24, yeah it was, inventory, let's go ahead and grab those real quick, uh, let's get this other wind turbine welded up and see if we get more power, now, there's got to be a trick to it, you just got to figure out what that trick is. Maybe because I'm in a valley, maybe? Maybe I need to put it on top of a mountain? I don't know. I don't know how intelligent those things are. Uh, let's go ahead and see, though. Wind turbine. Current output is 797 watts. Fuck you. <laughs> and wind turbine, this is the one we just built. 1.2 kilowatts. That didn't do shit. Yeah, wind turbines don't seem to be... I mean, it is a little bit... So yeah, that one is spinning a little bit faster, but... Yeah, see, this one's going a little bit slower. Maybe if we go higher? I don't know. I really don't know. Now, if we look at the grass, it will say... 
Looks like the wind's coming from that direction. But I don't think there is direction to the wind. No idea. So yeah, it looks like wind turbines aren't very reliable unless you're in a spot that gives you like max capacity. Which I'm going to have to look up a video for that because I don't think I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, but anyways, now that we got two of them up, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more stone. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So what I can do is we're going to need something that gives us a little bit better power. Uh, we should have also unlocked a few different things. Let's go ahead and pick that one up. Uh, we should have... We built the refinery and the assembler. The basic refinery and basic assembler. So now we should be able to build uh, other stuff as well. Let's see. Progression. Uh, so this is the basic assembler. We, I think we need to build one of these in order to open up all this stuff. Which... Yeah, it's nothing too important. Uh, in order to open up all this stuff, we need to build an assembler. This stuff is not important. That stuff's not important. Uh, let's see. What is important? Uh, none of that. Uh, none of that. <laughs> nothing, really. Uh, the basic refinery gave us detector. That's important. It gave us drill, which is important. It gave us the assembler. It gave us the refinery. That's what we need right there. A small reactor. But in order to build a refinery, we are going to need uh, metal grids, which I think is the one that needs... I think that one needs cobalt. Let's actually see. Uh, production. Metal grids. Yeah, cobalt. So we have to find cobalt. Now there is, I think it's right over there, there is a lake. Uh, now in order to find stuff like uranium that we're going to need for a reactor, uh, we're going to have to find uranium. Sometimes it's usually easiest to find near a lake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel over there real quick. And once I get there, we'll be right back. Alright, so here we are by the lake. It did take me a little bit. Uh, it's about 3.7 kilometers, which isn't too bad. Uh, on foot, it's pretty bad, but once we actually get a vehicle, we should be fine. Uh, I did want to save the hydrogen so that way I could get back a little bit faster. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to find what I'm looking for because it's going to be really hard to see on the ground. I need a vehicle. But let's go ahead and get out our miner. Now we should... Oh, hold on. I found iron. And it looks like that's all I found. Oh yeah, here's the coloration difference. I see it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the, it's really difficult to find ore nowadays. Now I would think it would be that color change up there, but it's probably not. Uh, it's, it's The detail is really, really subtle. So you kind of have to look a little bit. But look at the ice, man. It looks pretty good. I'm liking the game so far. I think they've done a good job, but we haven't experienced any bugs yet. Wait until we get into the bugs. We start building big, start building complicated, and yeah, the bugs are going to be irritating. But there's probably other stuff here. I just can't see it. And it's about to get dark, so I know I won't be able to see it. But yeah, there's the coloration difference. You can kind of see I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it a little bit. And it looks like it comes all the way over here. Now let's go to the other side of the lake while I still have hydrogen. And hopefully there is another node somewhere. And it being dark, I really can't see. I gotta watch out. Oh, there's another one. I gotta watch out for my hydrogen as well. Oh, look what we found. I got cobalt and I got nickel. Hell yeah. Alright, so we got iron, we got cobalt, and nickel. So what I'm going to go ahead and do 
is go to the GPS, uh, new from current position. We're going to say iron, uh, cobalt. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. FE for iron and cobalt, I think, is CO. And nickel is NI. So there we go. We have GPS for these locations. Cobalt is going to help us out a lot, especially to get refineries and assemblers. Uh, shit. I just thought of something. This is going to suck. Uh, where... Oh yeah, progression. Uh, we wanted to build a... Huh. Shit. Small reactor. Small reactor is going to take reactor components, which is the most difficult part. Reactor components take... Uh, I don't think I'll be able to see. Reactor components, I think, take silver. So, we would have to find silver. Uh, so, we might have to go with solar panel. We might have to try to figure out wind turbines. I'll have to watch a video. Or try to see if I can't find a video on it. But... Solar panels are gonna... Ugh. I don't want to do solar panels. But we might have to. I'm gonna have to build a whole field of solar panels. So right now I am doing this game vanilla. But I, I'm pretty sure that it won't take me long to start adding mods. Uh, but yeah. As far as working out the wind turbines, trying to get more power. Uh, or going with solar power. Reactor, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be... Until we can find all the components that we need, which means we need to get a vehicle up and running. Uh, eh, it's a rabbit hole, man. It really is. Uh, it looks like it might take us a little bit while to... We might have some power problems for a while. Uh, but yeah, we'll worry about that in the next episode. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.